um, everything was still routine, uh, doing community service projects with my fraternity brothers and just enjoying college life. And then once I found out that, um, that I had a daughter coming, it just was like, it was like, I was shook for a second. When I was in eighth grade, um, in my eighth grade graduation, my principal, he kind of came into the classroom before we walked into the gym, and he kind of just said that going into high school is like the beginning of the rest of your life. When I actually had got to ninth grade, I was um, enthused by everything. I was in the band. I was also in JROTC. And when I got in JROTC, um, I noticed a lot, of, it wasn't exactly the popular thing to do when I was in school but it was something that made me feel comfortable and it helped me realize a lot about who I am. And it instilled discipline into me, but also uh, helped me develop leadership skills amongst myself that um, a lot of people did not have when I, that from me seeing when I was in high school. My senior year, when I was about to graduate, um, I actually had got accepted into Mississippi State and also had got accepted into Mississippi Valley State and a few more schools around the state. But it was just a time where I was thinking about what would help me develop myself or make me realize more about myself and make me the better person. So I chose Mississippi Valley State University. I could say that was like a turning point for me. Um, a, a year or two in, I contracted with uh, JROTC through Jackson State University and all the while being in college, ROTC has kind of helped me develop myself into who I am today. Everything was still routine. I had just entered a fraternity and everything, and I was kind of like learning the the ropes of the fraternity and everything, uh, doing community service projects with my fraternity brothers and just enjoying college life. I was also still in ROTC, so I'm still holding up my end of the bargain there. And I'm also in the National Guard, so I'm going to drill. I'm doing all this type of stuff. I'm busy all the time, right? And then once I found out that, um, that I had a daughter coming, well, I had a child because I hadn't found out the gender yet um, on the way. It just was like, it was like, I was shook for a second. Um, but um, I've had a lot of people who to talk to me. Um, my godfather, uh, Papa Joe, uh, my mentor, Mr. McCullum. They they talked to me and they just told me it was nothing to be scared of. They told me that they were, that they were sure about the man who I was and who I am, and that I would be a great father. So, you know, I kind of calmed down from there, and I just this, I just got into a mode where I was like, okay, now it's just time to execute everything. Let's do everything that I had planned, you know, because when she gets here, I didn't want her to ever feel like later on in life that she was a setback in my life, you know. I want, I want her, I want to be able to tell her one day that I did everything that I was going to do with you here and to provide for you ultimately. So everything that I had set out to do, I just about had done it. And now I just got one more thing to do and that's graduate college and commission of course. And you know, and I would like to just explain all of this to her one day. It's a daily challenge. It's something that grows you every day. Helps you realize something about yourself every day. Um, stepping into fatherhood, you realize a lot of things like your life isn't all the way about you anymore. You know, you got to do things for a greater good now. So that, that's got to be like my highest honor, my highest accomplishment, being a father. Growing up, I had people who looked up to me. Um, I was always, I would like to say I was always a positive person, never stood into a negative light, but now it's, it's so much different because, you know, then, when you fail, it's like, okay, I can get that together. But now it's like, you, you your fear of failure just intensifies. And that's exactly what it, do, it has done for me. It makes me think about um, explaining this to my daughter one day, explaining my life, explaining my story, you know. And I don't, I don't want a lot of errors in there. I want to do the best thing that I can for her because I know one day she'll understand exactly all the things that I've done and all the things that I've accomplished. And I just want her, her to be proud of me, you know. My mother, um, she wasn't in the military or anything, and I'm actually her only son. So 
when I brought up to her that I actually wanted to be a part of the military, most people would think that she would be like, no, um, I don't think that that's um, what you should do. But her motive was more so, she wanted me to be able to do whatever it was that I wanted, you know, as long as it was positive and she seen a light in it. So she encouraged me strongly and I gave it all I got. And it got, got me to where I am today. Thinking about the military is a serious decision because you're giving your life to something that and there's no backing out of it. And that's what stops a lot of people because a lot of people are afraid of committing themselves to something. But being a person who has made that commitment, there's not been one day that I've ever like regretted it. If, if it's on your mind, you're thinking whether or not you should do it, you probably should. If it came across your mind, it didn't come to your mind for no reason at all. It came to you for a reason, so don't be scared. You gotta go out on a risk, and I'm pretty sure you'll get a return on investment.